Um, so today I got a special request from one of my friends. Um, she is suffering from kind of the same thing that I was, which is like really dry, cracked feet. So what I decided to do was um, to do a video that kind of shows how I go through my um, like my evening. There's still light out right now, but I'm about to work. So usually if I go out with my makeup on and stuff, I like to take my makeup off. So I figured I'd do the whole thing now where there's better light so I can do a proper video than wait until like nighttime. Usually the rest of this stuff I do just before going to bed. Um, but pretty much just kind of like how I um, get ready to go to bed. Um, and I have my little, it's a tote, but I call it my spa basket um which has a few things in it um now for my face i have my makeup remover my wipes and um also uh, eye makeup remover this was from avon like a while back but i just kind of use it as just like cream and i also have uh, foot stuff here. So I have a bag of Epsom salt. I have a restorative milky foot soap with Epsom salt. I don't use like I don't use it that much. I prefer just doing the Epsom salt. Um, so I have a pumice stone as well as one of these. It's kind of like a, a file. I use that when my feet are really bad. Um, I have a tropical coconut sea salt scrub that I got from Avon like a long time ago and I'm still going through it right now. I've got all day deodorant foot cream and I've got this homemade brown sugar foot scrub and I also and this like I don't like using this but it works for your feet um, in Vaseline petroleum jelly. Um, I will be going through why I use this later. Um, now this is my face stuff um, for like regular. So this I wash my face with this every day. It's like a no name brand Spectro gel. And then like a few times a week I'll use my skin brightening daily scrub. And for my hair I have uh, the Dove Nutritive Solutions intensive repair hair mask I used that yesterday so you were not going to see me use it today usually what I do is I'll put it on like the bottom part of my hair you know like and massage it upwards because you don't want it all on your scalp and then I'll put on a, um, a plastic hair cap and I'll usually I do like a spa day so I'll put that on put my cap on it's not sexy at all <laughs> um, and then I'll put on uh, one of my sheet masks that I've done reviews on and then I will do my foot soak which you are going to see in a minute that I do every day right now just to help restore my feet um, and it's, it's really good for your feet in general but I right now it, summer's coming and I just really want my feet to get back to a good you know good shape so what I do is I soak my feet every day but yeah usually I have like my little home spa thing so I soak my feet I have my face mask on and my hair mask and I wait for 15 minutes and do all that and then you know then I'm I'm good as new so now I'm gonna start first with taking off my makeup uh, you'll see the foot bath afterwards so I am going to start off with my wipes, my mask, my my mirror moved a little bit, unfortunately. So I was like, okay, so yeah, it's never never a good thing. And you don't want to have to scrub too hard, so. Tips are off.
start seeing my discoloration appearing now that my foundation is coming off. And before, so I literally just take a tiny bit and I put it on my eye, uh, keep my eye closed. And I just gently massage it in little circles, including my eyelashes. You can start seeing it like smear. And then, clean spot here. I'm going to do the other eye. I swear I'm not flipping you off right now. <laughs> I just kind of want to go back over again, make sure I got everything. Alright. Nice, clean rag. <laughs> you am. Everything's clean. So now, after this, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face with this. And then we're going to move over to soaking my feet and doing all of that that I do for that. Usually too in the evening, um, I have like all of my brushes that I've been using, and especially like the face brushes, those because they're right on my skin. I try to wash those like every time I use them. Um, the makeup brushes like for the eyes and stuff not as much I just kind of wipe them and spot clean them as much and then every so often clean them all right so we're going to go on hey so you might be noticing that I am in the kitchen um, the main reason why is because upstairs our um, bathroom sink is clogged and we've been trying as hard as we can to clean it it's just not working so there's two places where I can do my my uh, do this one is in the actual bathtub which is not a good place to film or the other place is here so I figured a little bit better to do it here better light too I really like the light in here moving a few things so I have a free sink so it's technically better to try to use cold water as much as you can. I can't really handle very cold water, but I try to get it as cold as I can. Usually I pull my hair back, but I don't... Oh, oh actually, here you go. So yeah, pull your hair back if you can, either with a, um, like a, one of those like headbands, like the, that pull your hair back, or an elastic. Okay, hey, now we're gonna wet our face. Whew. So cold. Hey, okay, so we're gonna use some of our Spectre gel. rub in short circular motion all over the face. 
gonna close that so I'm not wasting water. <laughs> rub, 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 rub. We are going to rinse this stuff off our faces. And then we are going to pat our face dry. Pat, don't rub. Mm, nice and clean face. <laughs> Alright, so Next thing would be my teeth. I take care of my teeth. So I forgot my mouthwash and my toothpaste. So I want to try to make this as accurate as I can. So I will be right back with my toothpaste and my mouthwash. All right, and I'm back. So I got my mouthwash. So this is the Listerine Extreme Whitening Dual Action, which is a pre-brush rinse. So you actually do this before you uh, go and use your brushes. <laughs> so you don't need like a whole lot. Just put a tiny bit in there. Mm. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to brush with the Arm & Hammer Extra Whitening Complete Care. So just, I tend to put too much, but
Do who's the glass? <laughs> it's my favorite. to go with water that's too cold because it really hurts the mouth. I'm gonna take a drink. <clears throat> and nice and clean teeth. They're getting pretty good. They kind of, um, the background is yellow so they're, they don't look as white as they are naturally but I've got pretty white teeth. <laughs> But that is how I brush my teeth. So now we are going to move on to the footwork. Pretty much, yeah. Which is what my friend really wanted to see. So this is kind of just total how I get ready in the, uh, in the evening. Sometimes I actually do do this just before work because I work from home and honestly, I don't want to work with a pile of crap on my face. I like to be comfortable. I'm sure I'll have to get used to it if I move back to the city and, you know, start working somewhere that's not from home. But for now, as comfortable as I can get it, that's what we're gonna go for. Alright guys, <laughs> so now I am back home. Uh, I am back upstairs. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing, because obviously this is the evening part of what I usually do, is I have my night cream, which is the Nivea Nourishing Night Care. So I'm going to put that on. Uh, it's a little bit too much. <laughs> now, the first time I put this on, um, because my skin was so dry, and I'm not used to wearing moisturizers like this the only one that I've used well like I've used some b before but now I've been using mainly like homemade natural products so when I started using this the first time my skin burned so bad but turns out that it was because it was just trying to suck in all the moisture because it was so dry and um because after after that, later in the day, I put on a moisturizing mask, and once I was done with the moisturizing mask, I put the cream on then and it didn't burn anymore. And again this morning it didn't burn with my day cream, because I use my uh, day cream in the morning. So. so, this is mainly, you know, like regular when it's not time to either scrub with my day scrub or I'm not using a face mask. This is pretty much what I do um, in the evening. That and my foot soak that I'm gonna do in just one second. So for that you want to make sure that you have a clean towel, you want clean socks, uh, you want Vaseline for afterwards which I will show you why. Um, you want Epsom salt. I'm not gonna lift the bag right now. You want a pumice stone. Also, you can use one of these as well if your feet are really, really bad right now and you need to kind of scrape them. And you want a good tropical coconut sea scrub, some kind of like foot scrub to go with it. And you want a tub that you can put hot water in to soak your feet for 15 minutes, uh, which I have down there. You'll see that in a minute. It's a little dark, but here we are in the bathtub. Um, filling up my tub that I like to soak my feet in. Um, so I just get it to the right level, then I bring it into my office, and then I sit down, and then, anyway, we'll come back to that once this is full. Alright, so here we have my tub of water, and I'm just going to dump a little bit of Epsom salt in there. Usually it's a little bit better than this, but... Um, I don't usually measure per se, but sometimes if I have tea of some sort, I'll mix that in there as well. Alright, that's nice and dissolved. 
And now, before anything else, I'm going to buff my feet um, dry, and then I'll buff them again wet. So, so I'm going to take this and just kind of just go over it. Just buff like the old skin. And do the same with the other one. And now we're going to put our feet in the water. Get nice and comfortable. And we are just do what you need to do to get comfortable. I'm going to turn my Xbox on. I actually set my little alarm here for 15 minutes. There you go, alarm's on. And I'm probably gonna put some kind of Netflix or Crunchyroll on while I wait. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. So now we're going to take the Footworks Tropical Coconut Sea Scrub. This, put a little bit on. I'm just gonna kinda wet it a little bit. And then I'm gonna start scrubbing bottom of my feet. Get all the, the dead skin off of there. Oh my god, it smells so good. And the side here. A little bit on the toe as well. Alright, and then we're going to do the same on the other foot. So we got a nice scrub. Just putting my feet back in there to kind of rinse them. And now we're gonna take our feet out, move this away, and then we're gonna dry our feet completely. You want them nice and dry. And then, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your Vaseline and especially concentrating on your heels, you're going to cover your whole foot with the Vaseline. I mean, it may seem gross, but this is like a trick to a really good smooth foot. This is like for like harsh feet. If your foot is not 
uh, is not really bad, then just regularly use a really good um, moisturizer. And I mean, you know, every every week or two weeks or whatever, you can do this as well. So then you just put a clean sock on. And you leave this overnight. So like this, usually I, when I do this, I do this just before going to bed. And then we're going to do the other foot. And we're going to put the other sock on. Alright, now my feet are done. I'm good to go to bed. And uh, so that is how I um, just get ready to go to bed. You know, wash my face, moisturize, all of that. And I did all of that. And I did all of that just in time for work because it is currently... So if you like this, like, comment, subscribe down below, or comment let me know what else you'd like to, to see on here. I gotta go work now. See ya.